My name is Ryo Shibata. I'm a 20-year-old college student with no hobbies, no special skills, no social skills, and for the past two years since I entered college, I haven't made a single friend yet. Can I stay over today? Yeah, come over. I live at home and enrolled at a local university, but most people around me are from other prefectures. They all seem to enjoy living alone. One day, I went to the cafeteria alone as usual and was about to buy a meal ticket. Eating lunch secretly in the corner of the cafeteria has been my routine for the past two years. Ah, I think I'll have the fried shrimp set meal today. Oh, Shibata, you dropped it. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Thank you. Whoa! It's the popular guys from my seminar group. I'm sure it's Yuki Gamamoto and Takumi Katori. I've never talked to you before, but Shibata were in the same seminar, right? Shibata, you have a driver's license, huh? Can you drive? What? Oh, uh, yes I can. Can you take us around in your car? It's fine, right? What? What? Oh, right. Good idea, Kidori. How about we go camping together sometime? We have a place we want to go, but we don't have a license or a car. Are you serious? Y yes it's okay. I live at home and I have a big car. I've always wanted to have a fun youth with my friends, but I'm a shy and introverted person, and I didn't make any good friends in high school or even after college. Really? Yay! Then let's discuss it together over lunch. Oh, okay. I was invited to go camping by the people in the same seminar because I have a driver's license, and I got excited. I know, they just wanted a convenient means of transportation. I know that, but I'm happy. Listen, listen, Shibata has a license and a car. Shibata, you're in the same seminar as us, right? You can give us a ride? I wish I had a car too. Oh, I live at home at my parents' house, so... No one has a driver's license. I came here for college, so there's lots of places I'd like to go. But I always take the train. If it's okay with you guys, I'll drive anytime. I'm just sitting at home every week on my day off. You seem to have a lot of time in your hands since you don't have friends. Then take us somewhere every week. Yeah. And so I was so excited to go out somewhere every weekend with a particularly popular group of people in the seminar. Here's today's gas money. It's a split. Oh, put me in the split as well. No, no, no. You're driving for us, so let us do this. It's a lot cheaper than train fare. Let's all go to the car wash on your next day off. I thought they were scary people until I talked to them. But they were all nice people. Even if I'm just the driver, I was happy to hang out with them. I practically never turned down their invitations. Ah, oh, we finally got to go camping. What a great view. It's all thanks to Shibata. Oh, how do you do this again? I've never been camping before, so... Oh, I can do it. Want me to? Shibata, you're really reliable. Country boys are so primitive. Shibata, you're the driver, so you can't drink. Sorry. No, it's okay. I'm not a drinker anyway. Oh yeah, you're here as a driver. So you don't have to drink any alcohol. Yeah, I like juice better because it tastes good. And alcohol is better. Sometimes they asked me where I wanted to go, which made me happy because I love my hometown so much. Shibata-kun, do you have any local recommendations? Um, there's a cafe with a view of the sea that only the locals know about. I've always wanted to eat at an open cafe there, but I've never been there yet. What? I want to go! Take us there! I want to go too! We're so lucky to be able to enjoy it thanks to Shibata! It's a place that doesn't suit a dull guy like Shibata! On the contrary, you're lucky to be here thanks to us! Yeah, that's right! I couldn't come for a long time because I didn't have anyone to go with! So thanks for always inviting me to different places! 
There's a waterfall near here that's a power spot, so do you guys want to check it out later? Uh, you are always so fashionable, Kizori. I've never worn a cool bracelet like that, but you look so good with it, I'm jealous. Whatever. This guy doesn't understand sarcasm. I was a loner in the shadows, and they always take me out. I appreciate all of them. Every day was so much fun. Oh, Shibata, nice shot. Uh, thanks. You only got it in because you're tall. That's right. Even in high school, they called me the giant tree because I was so spaced out and tall. And about six months after I was first asked to be the driver, I was still nervous to talk to everyone, but... Thanks to Shibata, we've been able to go to so many places. To further deepen our friendship, why don't we go on a one-night trip? I want to go too! Me too! With Shibata, we can go to places that are a little far away. But if it's too far, Shibata will have a hard time driving. So let's find a place that's just the right distance. Oh, I don't mind going far at all. It's okay with me. Hey, we don't have to invite Kidori this time, do we? Yeah, I think so too. What? What? Why? No! We can't leave someone out all of a sudden. I'd be really sad if it were me. I want to invite Kidori for sure. If you say so, Shibata. We decided to go to a hot spring resort about a three hour drive away. And I was secretly really excited about it. I'm going on a trip next week with my seminar members. Oh, that's great. Lately, you've been going out every weekend, which is a relief. We were worried about you because you always lounge at home. Everyone comes from other prefectures and there's no one who can drive, so they invite me out kindly. I see, I see. Take them to lots of nice places. Is everyone okay with the restroom? It's the last rest stop, so it might be a good idea to go. Okay! okay. I'll get some ice cream. You'll have some too, right, Shibata? What flavor do you like? Vanilla then, thanks. Looks like we're here. Whoa, what a nice inn. Um, be careful when you get off, guys. The snow's melting and there's puddles. Okay. okay. I've never been on an overnight trip with friends before, so this was a new experience for me. The baths are located on the sixth floor and in the basement. Wow. I haven't been to a hot spring since I was in elementary school with my family. Please contact the front desk if you have any questions. After the staff explained everything and left the room, we decided to take a bath before eating. Ah, hot springs are the best! I'm so grateful to all of you for making my college life such a spectacular one. I'm so glad I took that seminar. The sashimi is so delicious, right? I'm from a prefecture without an ocean, so I'm so excited to be able to eat such delicious fish! And the view from the window of the room was darkening as we enjoyed a wonderful meal. Oh, I left my luggage in the car! Shibata, go get it for me! Oh yeah, sure! It's in the trunk, right? Huh? You go get it yourself, Kidori! It's cold and the parking lot is a bit far! Shibata's the one who's tired from all the driving! Huh? Shibata's only good for that, so it's fine! What? No... It's okay, I'll go get it. Are you serious, Kidori? What do you mean Shibata's only good for that? Shibata's always been the most helpful, even today! We came here after talking it over and decided to throw him a birthday party to show our appreciation! Hey! Don't spill the beans! Oh, shoot! It was supposed to be a surprise! Shibata didn't notice it at all. We only let him come because he can drive. What do you mean, birthday party? I didn't hear about it either. I consider Shibata a friend. Do you understand that thanks to him, we're able to make memories in our college life? I like Shibata because he's funny. I wouldn't have come on this trip if it wasn't Shibata's birthday. I haven't even finished my report yet. Birthday? You all thought of me as your friend? What are you talking about, Shibata? I thought you only invited me because I have a license. I'm not even funny. But I still had fun going places with you guys. We're really grateful to Shibata for taking us to places we didn't even know when we came here for college. 
and I'm really looking forward to going to more obscure places with you. I love my hometown, and I'm glad you guys got to see what it has to offer. Yeah, I like your choice of music during the drive, too. We never thought of you as an uninteresting guy. You're quiet, but you listen to what people have to say. And you're a cool guy who says what's important when it's important. I'm just shy and not good at talking. I muster up the courage and speak only when it's really necessary so you guys don't get in trouble. I still get nervous when I talk to you guys. You thought of us that way? I've considered you my friend since the first day we went camping. Yeah, I was the first one to talk to you in the cafeteria, and now everyone likes you. And I'm a little jealous. Thanks. Wait, Wait why, why are, are you crying? crying? I didn't think you guys thought of me like that. <laughs> anyway, Dory, if you don't like Shibata, you don't have to come next time. I was concerned about it from a while ago. Dory's attitude. You weren't even supposed to be invited today, but Shibata insisted that we invite you. I don't think you know that, but... Really? Shibata... Why? What? Because if you don't come, I won't have anyone else to talk to. Wait. Wait a minute. Kidori, you don't like me? What? what? You talk to me the most, so... I'm still nervous when I talk to everyone. But I'm able to talk to Kidori normally. And I thought he was the friendliest. But... You're so slow. He called you a country boy and a chauffeur. I thought I was just a driver myself. Compared to Kidori from Tokyo, everyone's a country boy. He was the first one to invite me out in the first place. Thanks to him, I've been having a lot of fun every day lately. I'm most grateful to him. What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Shibata, you really have a calm personality, don't you? Seriously, I'm a little worried since you're so naive. While we were having such an exchange, a staff member called out to us from behind the sliding door. It's 8 p.m. and I brought you a cake. Happy birthday! Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Thanks! This is a present from us. This is from me outside of what we chipped in for. Thanks. I'm sorry I said so many mean things to you. I was jealous because everyone was all over you because you could drive. What? Don't worry. Sorry I didn't notice either. But I'm really grateful to you, Katori. And I hope we can be friends. Um... Thanks for always driving us around. And thanks for inviting me out today. And this. Shibata, you said it was cool before. Here. I didn't know it was your birthday and I didn't have anything prepared, so... What? Are you sure? I could take something as fashionable as this? I don't think I'd look good in it. Nah. It looks good on you. Thanks! Let's get going to a lot of fun places with everyone. I'm just a dull guy with a driver's license. The reason I was able to become good friends with everyone is because of Kadori's invitation. Shibata, I know you're a bit slow, so I'll tell you, but I think Yuka likes you. Uh, hey, Kadori, don't say it so clearly. No, I don't think Shibata will understand anything unless he's told clearly. I think you two would be a good match, though. What? I don't think so. Besides, I'm not ready for a girlfriend yet. And I'm so happy just to have made some friends, so I don't need anything more. I see. I'm sorry about that. Uh. We're here! The views here are amazing! And I'm planning to continue touring the local recommendations that I love with everyone. Some people can consider people friends if they have a good time, while some can't. If we can put into words like this at some point, we may be able to recognize each other as good friends. Chibata-kun is very kind and very slow. I hope Yuka's feelings will reach him soon. How did you guys enjoy today's story? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching! Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more! See you guys next time! 
Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.